show that 781 is a 17 pseudo prime. Well, it's first of all not the prime number, it does factor. Next, 17 is well, the prime to that because 17 is not a factor in here. So we're left actually to have to compute what this is. And it would be awful if we didn't have this factorization. So we can begin here. So 17 to 718, okay? And now we're going to do mod 11 first. Well, this is 17 to the power of 10, and then to the power of 78. But now, by Fermat's theorem, by FLT, we know this is 1 to the 78, this is 1, and everything here was mod 11. Okay? So we know this mod 11. Now we have to look at this 17 to 780. And we have now have to calculate mod 71. Okay, hold your horses, here we go. Well, we're again going to use Fermat's law theorem, so we're going to test it in 17 to the power of 70. How many times could 70 go in here? It's 11 times. 70 times 11, and now 7 to 70, so we have 10 left over there. Okay, so this Again, by FLT here and FLT here, we know that this is 1, mod 71, so we left it 17 to the power of 10. It doesn't look too friendly, but here we go. Notice that this is 17 squared, and then again, fifth power. So now we have. 17 squared is 289 and 5th power. Well, 71 goes 4 times in here, and you can see this. 7 goes 4 times 28, and then 1 times 4 is 4, 9 minus 4 is 5, so we're really left, left with 5 to the 5. Now we do 5 to the 5. That's probably getting smaller. 5 to the 5. That's 5 times 5 to the 4, and let's just expand out 5 to the 4, that's 625. And now, 17 times 17, no, 71 times 3, 71 times 3, what else? Oh, I'm losing myself. 71 times 9, we do that. 6, 3, 9. So I'm overshooting here by the difference is 14, so minus 14. So this is minus 70, 5 to 14, 7 minus 7. Hence, minus 70 so is 1, and everything here is mod 71. So we put that statement and that statement together. Notice that these are no common factor here, we get exactly what we want, 17 to 780 from 1 mod 781. Hence, 781 is a 17 pseudo prime, and we get very happy with that.